What's up fish tank people? This is Brad coming at you with a 125 gallon 6 footer community aquarium freshwater and it is heavily planted Check this guy out my koi angel, male blue platinum angel, male koi female, hopefully just got that one yesterday the others I've had for quite a while and a nice geo red hump this is the one I've already had for a little while I just got the bigger ones, three of them actually uh, yesterday and here's my keyholes, one of my keyholes. I've got four all together in there. And that's a female silver platinum. Oh, let me. Uh, yeah. This guy, Buddy described her, the guy I bought it from, as a blushing koi angel. And at first I thought it might be Gilburn from Nitrites, but uh, he had it in a tank with uh, discus, which to me tells me that uh, it probably is just the way the fish looks, because the discus wouldn't live in a tank with high nitrites, being a sensitive fish that they are. I got some platys in there as well, and uh, you can see those there. There's a couple sore tails. It's a molly I'm holding for a friend just till he gets uh, his move completed. And I've got a about 20 plus schooling rummy nose tetras and hopefully they'll go back and forth for us on the video here. Here's my leopard angel. There's my uh, Anubias, and uh, I've got them attached to a plastic root, but it looks really sweet. And that new Anubias will go, basically goes all the way down behind this uh, Amazon sword, which is uh, nearly up to the top there. And uh, here's another plant I bought yesterday. I don't know what the name of this one is. I was so excited because I bought a bunch of fish that I uh, didn't really pay attention when the guy told me what the name of it was. Not that I could pronounce it. Here's a crypt. Another crypt. Another new plant that I bought yesterday. In the comment section, if you know what this is, type it in there for me, would you? And there's a keyhole. He's actually quite big. I don't know if the video displays that, but uh, he's really nice. And apparently keyholes are supposed to be pretty shy fish, but uh, these ones are actually quite territorial. And they're not breeding right now, although the female and males are kind of doing the dance, you know, the back and forth. I don't know if that geo's down here. I, I really find it funny how this little geo will pick on the new big geo and yesterday he was kind of shying away from him but today he's fighting back a little bit there's my uh, cardinal tetras and I've got at least uh, 15 to 20 of those in there and they're real neat this is the biggest one right here I've had him uh, obviously longer than the rest of them I had a bit of a sickness going on a few months back and lost uh, a bunch of cardinals. I don't know why what, or what happened, but uh, everything looked good. The values were, uh, were good. The ammonia was zero and the nitrates were at the very lower end. And nitrates were nil. pH in this tank, by the way, is 6.4 and the water is soft. So soft, I believe it's zero. And um, the 
temperature I like to keep it around 80 degrees. I have uh, two 36 inch uh, Odyssey lights, you know those Chinese lights and uh, there's four bulbs in each, it's T5's and of course that lasted uh, probably close to nine months or a year and I ended up having to get the uh, Furham, I think that's how it's pronounced, uh, Workhorse 7 ballast and as a result I didn't know how to hook up the, uh, the little fans that blow away all the heat uh, or the LED uh, moonlights so those uh, are unable to be used and uh, right now I've got those lights sitting right on top of the tank which I know is a no-no but uh, it's doing okay for now until I uh, get my canopy built and then I'll have it hanging inside the canopy and I'll probably run a couple regular fans in there and just blow away the heat make sure that it doesn't overheat uh, this plant over here this little Amazon I brought from a 30 gallon that's very poorly lit I just want to bring it back to life so I uh, brought it over here in the corner I keep this tank pretty well lit all day almost like I would even go as far as to say from sometimes 8 o'clock in the morning till 12 at night and yes I do not have any algae problems which is funny isn't it but uh, I mean I think my plants are doing great they're not getting any carbon so I do fertilize probably not as much as I should probably sometimes once every two weeks sometimes once a week and what I've been using is uh, this stuff fluorite flourish sorry um, comprehensive supplement for the planted aquarium this is my fresh bottle I got a bottle that I'm using right now and I keep that refrigerated uh, I also use the flourish iron and I was using potassium as well but uh, I ran out of that and I didn't use it that often but uh, the bottle doesn't go as far as the iron or the or the other minerals um, this tank is being filtered with an AquaClear uh, 110 times 2 I got two of those and I've also got a Fluval 406 canister filter which I keep, you won't be able to see, but I oh, fuck it, I'm going to show it to you anyway. So it's, yeah, it's down right there. I got childproof locks on these doors because I got like little babies running around trying to get in all my gear. So I got, uh, in the Angels, I got uh, two females and three males in this tank. I've got a pair in another tank as well, but uh, I'm saving that for another video. It's a lot of fun just to sit back here, listen to uh, YouTubers, and relax with a glass of wine, and watch the fish, chill out for a bit after a hard day. Some of my favorite uh, YouTubers are uh, KG Tropics and The Rick and uh, Wiser and Cichlid Man 09. Even though I don't have any some of those, you know, their fish, but uh, it's pretty entertaining. That's just the name of few. that little yellow koi. I hope she does well. There's some platies up there. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you think of this tank. Leave a little comment down the bottom.
Um, it's a lot of work uh, putting it together. It's been together since last March, I think. I was wanting a 125er. Now that I got one, I want a 180 or a 220 or, you know, I'm not allowed though. And this is the view from the couch. So this video is like over 10 minutes now. So I might as well turn it off. If anybody's interested in what I feed fish, I'll just let that be my last uh, word. I like New Life Spectrum. I use the discus formula. I think all of those pellets are pretty much the same. I mean, the percentages are pretty close together. The ingredients in, in the list are in the same order. So I don't see what all the fuss is about. I like the pellets simply because they were the cheaper of the bunch. And I mean, if it's good enough for discus, it's good enough for angels and South American fish. I also use Omega One Flakes, the freshwater variety. And I have the uh, herbivore uh, Omega Ones as well. And I feed bloodworms and brine shrimp. You know, the frozen variety. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, sub me or leave a comment, and that way I'll do another one. I got a fish room, so I can uh, cover a few more tanks. Anyway, later.